when I turned up to that site on that day, um, I'd arrived in flat black shoes and they said, we're going to give you a uniform, which was uh, a dress and then a jacket to go on top of it. And as I was getting changed, she said to me, you can't wear those shoes. And I said, oh, I don't know what's wrong with them. They're smart, they're black in keeping with that code. They're just not a two to four inch heel. She said, I'm sorry, all women who work here on reception have to <laughs> wear heels. And there was a male receptionist there and I said, well, he's not wearing heels. And she laughed at me, which is understandable, but I don't understand why it was so funny to expect him to wear heels and why she was expecting me to, to do the same. They said, you have to go home if you're not going to wear the heels. They offered me, they said, you know, if you want to go out now and buy a pair of heels, then we're happy for you to do that with my own money. And I refuse on principle. I said, you know, I, I don't see why what I'm wearing is going to affect my job in any way. It was a nine hour shift to escort um, clients from the front desk to meeting rooms. I'd be on my feet for nine hours. 20 years ago, women weren't allowed to wear trousers in the same role that I'm doing now. And it's only because some women spoke up about that and said, we feel like we have a right to wear trousers, that that's changed. I think that dress codes should reflect society. And I don't think that this particular loophole in the dress code policy does reflect modern society in any way.